Hello everyone, this is Chris Prince from Slash Gear. I'm working with the HTC One S. This is the international version. You'll be able to get uh, this week. Soon it'll be available in the United States as well on uh, T-Mobile. But this is the international version. And what we're going to do today is look at a few games. And before we begin looking at some games, I'm going to tap in here just to show you what we already have open. Uh, we have Personalize, Settings, Internet. It has several tabs in it. Voice Search, Dropbox, and Gmail. What I'm showing this for is to show you that we can have quite a few apps open uh, with this processor. This is the Qualcomm S4 processor there. Uh, Snapdragon S4 rather from Qualcomm. And it can multitask as you can see. We got all those other apps open and we're opening up extremely quickly here uh, in Grand Theft Auto. Tap in there. Tap past all this stuff. Oops. Back out. I'm going to get into turn the game. There we go. I'm starting this relatively fresh just to show you that it does uh, work really well right out of the box, right at the start of the game here. We'll try to skip past these cinematics here as quick as we can. Jump in here, and we will head down the road here. All right, back and forth. Uh, you can see the uh, these are graphics that are you know perfectly well suited for this particular device. This game originally came out on the PlayStation 2, and it's working perfectly well here. Now, this game isn't exactly the most perfect game to be using to test or sort of thing. It's just a game that quite a few people like, so I'm just showing you exactly how well it works here. And rocks. So I'm going to head back to the desktop, or the home screen right there. And next thing we're going to open up is Riptide GP. So Riptide GP, this is a game we also use to test a lot of devices, see how quickly it works. As you can see, we're racing, you know, less than a minute after we tap the game to start right off the home screen there. Do a trick through here. Okay, oh yeah, that should be a good enough demo of that. Head back out. As you can see, as I'm doing this, I'm going to leave these open. Uh, if we can get in here, tap that again. There we go. There we go. Uh, next thing we're going to be looking at here, once I get this loaded, is Bunny Maze 3D. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is that we do have several apps open as we're doing this. So I'm going to leave G G Riptide GP open. I'm going to relieve GTA 3 open. I'm going to leave all this stuff open as we're doing it. Now, next thing I'm going to look at is Bunny Maze 3D. Now, this game is uh, part of Snapdragon Game Command. That means it was developed with Qualcomm uh, by the developers of the game so that it is optimized for Qualcomm devices. It means it should work perfectly well. So, we're going to take a look at it here. As you can see, I played it a little bit. We're going to the next level here. This game uh, essentially has you, if you've not seen it before, it's not extremely popular yet. Um, you collect carrots. you got to go through a little maze. As you're doing it, you have to swipe left or right to get through your maze. And it's pretty fun. You also get hit by those bad guys. You can swipe, go twice, do little flips, jump up in the air. Fun. You know, it's an okay gauge of how well your graphics are working there. 3D rendering. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do a carrot. There we go, we got it. Alright, so next game we're looking at here, we're gonna actually look at uh, TED Talks. It's not a game, but we're gonna look at it anyway. This is what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop it open, and show you how quick we can get into a uh, video here. This partially has to do with the web connection, but we are getting into it extremely quickly as you can see. 
with the HD, you know, relatively HD screen here. It looks really nice. And then audio is coming out of the back here with the uh, what I'd like to show you today beats. Is something in the way of an experiment. Today is its debut. It's a demonstration of augmented reality. And the visuals you're about to see are not pre recorded, they are Go live. Here. New insights see, into the extremely problem. quick uh, New in scrubbing there. New insights into the problem. Let's just go back and forth there. And where we want. Good to go. Pretty cool. After that, I want to show you one more thing here that isn't. Uh, here we go. Angry Birds. Thought it wasn't on the desktop. There it is. Open up Angry Birds Space. This is a brand new game. So it should be an okay gauge of how well everyday games are working. We'll go to level 8. Now, uh, this is you know one of the most famous games, uh, famous game series in all, in all of mobile them. And here they got a little bit of different physics going on. You're slinging your birds, and you have to work with gravity. See if we can actually get it to go here. We should have enough birds by far. Oh, for God. One last try here. There we go. Oh, I hit the thing wrong. Fail. Let's try one more level just for fun. Not that one because I'm obviously terrible at that one. Let's go to the easiest level in the entire game. Let's see if I can do this in one shot. I think I'm ready to edit. Uh, yeah! Did it. Rocking it. Now just for fun, I'm going to show you one more thing. Since we're doing so well here. Uh, as per normal, I should say. As per, uh, you know, this this is essentially what I'm getting all the time with this device is it's working extremely quickly, even though there's you know billion different things open at once. I'm gonna go into gallery. I'm gonna go to uh, movies. I'm gonna go to this small clip of movie. This is not streaming. It's on the device. They're pretending to dress, sir. What do you mean pretending? They are dressing up. Where do they get those clothes? They brought them with them, sir. What? In that suitcase. Suitcase. It's just a clip from uh, Escape from the Planet of the Apes. Uh, Looks pretty nice. Greg, maybe uh, you should give them their oranges. Check it out. HTC One S international version. That's a demonstration of multitasking as well as uh, you know being able to, to work with multiple things all at once plus gaming. There you have it.